Spanish is one of the fastest growing languages in the U.S. with more than 40 million Spanish speakers by next year. And one Spanish teacher in Cashton is helping her students learn an important skill in a fun learning environment. News 8's Jordan Fremstad introduces us to this month's top-notch teacher. When you enter a classroom, you usually greet the teacher with hello. Hola, señorita. But in Lacey Lucy's classroom, Con la chica you say hola. This is year 15. At Cashton High School, Mrs. Lucy is giving students a chance to learn a rapidly growing language in the country. Oi, yo tengo las I want them to learn to love learning. You know, like learning is a great thing and, and we should embrace it. PewResearch.org shows the number of Spanish speakers has risen by 233% since 1980. So today we're going to practice them, okay? We Junior Aiden Cook understands second. how powerful it is to be bilingual. I'm hoping I can be at least semi-fluent by the time I'm out of high school. It's a great skill to have to speak a second language. Por favor, vamos. There was a time when Mrs. Lucy thought teaching wasn't possible. And I always wanted to teach, but I never thought I was smart enough to teach. Nor was Spanish her first choice. I actually went to school to be a business teacher. <laughs> and then I took um, college accounting, and I, I just really hated it. That led her on a path to trying something new. So then I thought, well, maybe I'll try Spanish, and I super loved it. You're getting faster. This means you're getting better. It's a lesson she passes down to her students, who are also trying a new skill. I want kids to come and to be challenged, but not so challenged that they don't want to do it. So you can look forward to Spanish because you know it's not the same reading from the textbook or writing stuff in your notebook. No notes! Through no games and activities that require action and critical thinking and the occasional collision, her classroom turns into a headquarters of communication. Punto! I don't want them just sitting and breathing at a desk. I want them doing what we're doing and thinking about what we're thinking. Spanish with her has been like, it's, you know, it's just immersion and it's like impossible not to learn it almost. That one was hard. Why is it hard? She says the more a teacher can relate to students. So I'm asking like a predator question. The more passion they will show. I mean, my sister's going to school for Spanish and we're all pretty interested in it, probably because of Mrs. Lucy. Well, that helps and it makes the relationship so better and then they're willing to work for you, you know, if they know that, hey, she knows my name and she knows that I, you know, play the saxophone, you know, or whatever. I mean, it's, it's what makes or breaks this job sometimes, I think. Cuidate, 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 okay. While actions can help someone learn a new language, they can also help shape them into a better person. Well, I think we can say to kids, you know, be kind and be nice, but sometimes they don't even know how to do that. It's so much more powerful to show them. She also wants to be the light Punto! in her students' lives. Punto! We love these kids. You know, they're, they're our kids, and, and some of them have, you know, really bad home lives, and I want this to be eight hours of not bad home life for them. She doesn't need a thank you. She wants a classroom full of estudiantes. Pasta. Ready? Pasta. To learn. See? It's the best job. At Caston High School, this is Jordan Fremstead, News 8. All right, so Mrs. Lucy and several of her students were able to go to the Dominican Republic for a class trip over the summer. And she says a lot of students from past classes say they wish they would have paid more attention in her class. Don't we all say that? <laughs> there you go. Well,